I thought I was going to show you how I start and end threads when I stitch with one thread of a one and this is how I usually do on my full coverage pieces uh, this is my preferred method it's not the only way I do it but it's how I do it most of the time this is something I've learned by watching floss tubes and trying them out during the years I have stitched full coverage pieces with one thread over one. So you can see here there's two stitches I'm going to stitch. I'm starting the thread and I'm going to use the loop method using one strand. So I go down in the bottom right corner and I leave a little tail and sometimes I need to hold it down with the finger then I go up in the bottom left corner and I go down in the same hole the bottom left and I make a loop I will try to show you so you can see there's a loop there so after that I go up in the top left no top right corner And then I go through the loop with my needle and then I pull and I also like to pull the end tail a little bit sometimes after that I go down with a needle in the bottom left corner again And I go all the way through and I tug it, tug it a little bit so I know it's secured. And there's a half stitch made. And then I cut the end tail. And I pull a little bit again and I can feel that it's secured and then I can finish the cross so that's how you start with the loop method stitching with one thread over one so now I just finished the other stitch as well and then I will show you how I end my thread with um, with a pin stitch So, it's important to find a place on the fabric where the fabric thread is like, so where the horizontal fabric thread is going underneath. I hope you can see it. So in this case, I go up in the top right corner. The important thing here is to pierce that fabric thread, which is going under 
the other thread. And now you can see that there is some, a little bit of thread showing. Now I pull it a little bit so it goes under the fabric thread. So then it's hidden. So for me, this is a half pin stitch and this is how I usually do it. If I know I'm going to continue stitching in that square. But I'm not going to stitch in this square for a while because I'm stitching in the square, you know, on top there where I have all the part threads. So I need to finish the pin stitch and then I go up in the hole, like the opposite hole or the bottom right hole, then I split the same thread at the same place I did before. And again, you can see that there is some thread left, like uh, it's a bit visible and I pull it so it gets hidden underneath that fabric thread. And then I like to go up like in the bottom left corner there, just beside. I pull the thread up and I cut it. So that is how I start and end my threads, uh, usually on my full coverage pieces. I hope you could see what I was doing and that it helps in any way. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to sh show you in another way, just please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.